Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're doing a fault find on the house fire alarm system to find a loop open circuit fault. Hope you enjoy the video. Today's video, we're doing a fault find. So we've got loop open circuit. So I've disconnected, I did disconnect one leg of the loop and I lost everything. So I assume it's somewhere close to the panel. So I'm gonna disconnect the other loop and see what we get from that. So, I've got two zones in fault. Main landing, top of stairs. I really hope it's not a loose connection that because you need scaffolding to get that. Okay, so I'll see what I've lost. So, I have lost. And I think the loop is run in the way like how it's addressed so i've got pantry attic here so first i'm going to take a photo of all of this and i'm going to go around all of these points checking the bases seeing what we get multimeter to see if i am getting any voltage back we're not getting any so it's a complete open circuit come down to quickly just connect what the side of the loop back up and i'm going to disconnect the other side now so just double check what i do lose five zones in fault when i disconnect that leg of the loop but it could just be that there's a couple of devices on that zone lost but then the rest is still there like pantry attic could be on that zone five zones in fault there we go only losing my room when that happens but i don't think my room was on you know the other side the base in my room and uh, We seem fine here. Yeah. It's not tightened down to any insulation, so yeah, we should be fine here. The detector back up where's the notch on it, so oh that looks like that's tightened onto insulation, so um I'll try I'll do that again. The detector has blinked, so I feel like that was the problem there's no well this should have been lost but it just blinked so, there we go hear a beeping but it stopped hopefully beeping but it stopped now so i'm gonna check the knob yeah no device lost i'm gonna reconnect the loop and see if this is solved it what do you know that's fixed the problem so whoever did the second fix on that base obviously tightened it onto the insulation and that's caused the panel to be a bit angry so when you when you're second fixing bases always make sure that you're not tightening onto insulation this, there we go. always make sure you're not tightened onto insulation and yeah that right so quickly sound it off from the nearest score point to just make sure that working as it should be. Call box here. There we go. There we go. So it is working fine. Thank you for watching.